Bang him home. And then the heavens opened up. I feel alive. Oh, this has been brutal. I have never been so glad to see a hut. On day two, John and I woke up at the Minga Tanoka campsite. So this is where there is um, the natural hot springs. So our campsite um, has some barbecue tables. We decided to grab a, an early breakfast. Every day trip for me, breakfast looks like a Jed's coffee. Nestle condensed milk, two wheat bix and muesli, measured out and dried milk powder. I just love my Kiwi Camping Pukeko tent um, dual pitch and this thing has a total weight of around about 2.1 kg or well, something around about $170 New Zealand. Um, the other white sheet that you can see here is what we call um, an ultralight ground sheet. Um, that puppy only weighs 140 grams and so I take this everywhere with me in my pack. We're going to be heading first destination is Makino Hut. Um, that requires backtracking back up the Tapura track, almost back to uh, the lodge again, so about 40 minutes. Um, and then we have something like about a four or 500 meter elevation before we get to the hut. But in the meantime, we had absolutely stunning scenery. Mate, this is punishing. I think we've got to get to the top of this thing. That 600 meter climb was punishing. I think it's time to change music as it's all downhill from here. Kino hut, a great little hut. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Have you got the got the billy on, darling? I won't stay here one night, have we? No, we just had lunch here. multi-day track um, I'll take dry crackers with brie cheese and for my salt intake I bring salami and of course everything needs to be washed down with the Jed's coffee. So our next destination is Mangatuatua Hut. 
I think once we get down to the wire bridge crossing, we've got something like an 800 to 1000 meter elevated climb. So she's going to be a pretty long day. Oh. And then the heavens opened up. How awesome is this? This is incredible. Woo. I feel alive. What do you think, John? Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Another vent adventure in our three day hike. And he's made it safely. Looked a bit shaky, takes a bow, and it's over. Oh, this has been brutal. We think we've probably got about another hour before we get to Mangatuatua Hut. Um, mate, I feel like we've climbed. Have a good thousand meters. This is brutal stuff. It's supposed to be scattered showers today, but um, mate, this is heavier than scattered showers. So anyway, there's only one way to get to the hut, and that's by one foot in front of the other, and uh, we'll eventually get there before dark. Oh mate, I have never been so glad to see a hut. Somebody inside. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hello, big guy. How are you? How is my beautiful boy? Hey? Eh? <laughs> yeah. Hey? You beautiful? Oh, that one's a bit skiddy. Yeah, she's scared, unfortunately. There are two hunters um, at the hut already, uh, and two dogs. One of them was incredibly skitty. So I immediately got a fire going to get our clothes dry, and um, I stopped filming very shortly after because it just got too dark. So look, I just re really appreciate if you support my channel. Hit me up a like, and hit that subscribe button, and you'll be sure to catch me for part three on uh, this adventure. Thank you.